Marvel character? Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, I have a top three. Okay. okay. Black Panther, Scarlet Witch, Moon Knight, Doctor Strange. That's four. Uh, I don't care. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, I think Gambit from the X Men. Wait, MCU or actual comics? Uh, MCU. MCU. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Um, Spider-Man. Spider uh, Spider-Man. Okay. Um, Spider-Man. Okay. Hawkeye. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Marvel character? I don't watch Marvel. No one. Favorite Marvel character? Um, Catwoman. Um, probably Batman. All right, yeah. all right. I gotta say Iron Man. Uh, Iron Man. <laughs> oh, wanted. Offering job, not a scam. Hmm, this seems not suspicious at all. And I mean, I might as well give it a try since... <laughs> The other job didn't go so well, and I'm um, I'm in need of a job right now and a therapist. So. Uh, yeah. Hey, have you seen Miranda lately? I haven't. Has it been like three months? Yeah, actually. I think it's time to call the professions. Welcome back to this week's episode of Panther News. I'm Ariana McLennan, and this is my co-host Miranda Lopez. Go on, you know what to do. And this is Panther News. We have English 1 and English 2 Benchmarks Tuesday, so make sure to get some rest and come prepared. Even though we may have benchmarks next week, here's something to look forward to. The sophomore IMT theater majors probably present Anne of Green Gables February 1st and 2nd at 7 in the Black Box. Tickets are $5 for students and $10 for adults, and can be purchased at the door or at www.imcarol.booktix.com. Another great show to see without you. So, Miranda, do you know what's happening next month? W what's happening? Your funeral. <laughs> Wait, what? Just kidding. It's Black History Month, where we celebrate and give acknowledgement to all African Americans. Oh, student government will be playing an amazing event to celebrate next month. They'll be hosting an event where a black church choir will come and perform, as well as an open mic and poem reading, with more to come. Save the date, February 9th, because after school, the cafeteria will be serving soul food and showcasing a movie. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. And you especially keep an eye out. Hello? This is private investigator Sierra. And she looks like what? Okay. You know, Ariana, when I was, you know, free and stuff, you know, living a good life, I heard a few things that are newsworthy. Oh, really? Like what? Well, I heard Garden Club won fifth place. Here's a video I took when they found out. We still managed to get fifth place! Woo! My name is Phoenix Moore. Okay, and Phoenix, how does it feel that you got fifth place out of 30 teams? It feels uh, really nice because it took a lot of uh, hard work <laughs> and effort uh, to get fifth place. They did such an amazing job. Miss Hudson is the Garden Club sponsor and French teacher. So here's some other clips I found of Miss Hudson teaching in some cool ways. Hey. Oh, 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 see. oh Joel. Joel. <laughs> Joel Hockey! Yeah! <laughs> this week in French Club, we had such a fun time playing charades. It's one of my absolute favorite things to do in class. I love getting students up and moving around, and also it addresses different intelligences and modalities by getting students to connect the words with bodily movement. So we played multiple games that the kids really enjoyed, had such a great time. And again, it allows kids to do something a little bit different rather than just kind of the sit and get that occasionally happens in class. Anytime you can involve movement, you learn so much more about your students and the students learn the words and understand the concepts in a much deeper way. Awesome. What a cool and engaging way to teach. Okay, bye. Hmm, up wants it, huh? This might be interesting to look in. Yeah, WizQuest also won third place overall in their competition last December. Here's an interview with Al. I'm here with Al from WizQuest, and today I have a few questions to ask you. All right. So for the WizQuest competition, how would you say your experience was? Very exciting, but it can also be a bit overwhelming. There's a lot of bright flashing lights, 
a lot of sound and you have to really focus in on the questions, but it can also be very exciting and fun mm -hmm. to meet different people from different schools. For you, were the questions mostly hard or like mostly easy? They are, they can tend to be very difficult, but not for the reasons you expect. A lot of the questions are worded weirdly where it can be a very obvious answer like Paris, <laughs> but they won't exactly ask you normal things about Paris, France. Okay, and for my final question, how is it like being your team's captain? Definitely inspiring and very exciting. Our team is very interactive and very close-knit, and it's just always fun to be around them. And would you like to be team captain again if you had the chance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before we head out, just a curious question. What exactly did y'all get for winning third place? Well, lots of praise, admiration, and of course, this sparkly trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here, Al. And, well, good luck on next competition. Thank you. <laughs> WizQuiz did such a good job. I'm glad some people can do their job right. It's not my fault I got kidnapped. She was in here. I'm getting close. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Panther News. See you next time. Hey! Mm. I, I, mm. okay. <laughs> students are $5 for students. Yearbook sales are currently going on. Scan the QR code now to purchase ad space or your yearbook. Ad sales have been extended until February 10th. Parents, purchase your ad space to honor your graduating seniors. Apprentices, throw in with your friends to purchase ad space to honor your friend group. Who's got the best friend group? Highlight it in this year's yearbook. Ad sales stop February 10th. Designs are due on the 28th.